I think that's far enough. <laughs> Welcome to the third there vlog. This is right vlog there. three. We're here out in public. This guy actually just recognized me, but I mean, he's a bit nervous, so it doesn't have to be in the vlog. But um, we're at the top of Spencer Butte. You no, know, we were here last vlog. The difference is, I've got new friends, oranges, and a lot of love to give. Um, can we get a nice shot of the landscape? It's very <laughs> foggy. I got a cameraman this time. His name is Bar Bartholomew. He's, ro he's Romanian. Orange so weird. Hey, can I get a can I get a close up of this orange peel? <laughs> hey, I just told me I ate my orange world. Um, my, we, 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 I, I ate it weird. I just kept it in one peel and then just took them off because I'm trying to use the least amount of effort as possible. That's more effort. You're wrong and you're dumb. <laughs> um, so yeah, can I get a close up shot of me putting this orange in my mouth? Okay. No. All right, you got it. And then I. Oh. <laughs> just. <laughs> Can we get an after shot of me throwing this orange peel off the mountain? <laughs> yeah. Don't you have to keep it for a Yeet! <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked off the mountain. <laughs> the people! This is a lawless land! Welcome to Jerem's vlog, everyone. I don't respect you. <laughs> That's Jerem for you. They're like 70% of the man. Dude, it's not me. I don't, I'm not just saying that, it's the weight. Yeah, you betcha. Oh! Oh! Now we're out here at the lovely, lively Spencer's View out of Eugene, Oregon. Now, one of the lovely things you'll see about this forest is that sound. Do you hear that? That is the quiet rushing sound of water dripping down the leaves, the points, and the moss. Now, our moss is very essential to the ecosystem here. We have people all the way from Arizona drive over to our state just to grab some moss, just to take it back home. You know, they've been studying it to see how it retains so much water and stays so green. Cause that's the thing about our state. It's very, very green. Not just cause the cush, cause the bush. Is there any help? No. There we go, that's my dude. Um, what's up vlog? Yo, I'm coming at ya. I've been hanging out with the boys. Calvin's holding the camera right now. You guys haven't even met Calvin. That's Calvin. Shit is fucking insane, y'all. We're driving to go pick up his car. We're gonna go take Austin to work. Today's gonna be a really fucking insane day. Uh, Women's March is gonna be happening downtown. So excited because I love women and I respect them. I definitely think they have the right, they, they should have the right to vote. Um, so if we can just get that legalized finally, shit will be absolutely unreal. I mean, like, 
you know, I want the best for them, but we gotta take baby steps, you know. Baby we gotta, steps. We, like baby steps. We gotta let them. We gotta let them like vote before you know we let them like get equal pay because as of right now they're not equals, so it doesn't make sense to have equal pay. Uh, but once we get them all those rights and then they're equals, fuck yeah, dude. Let's they can earn a dollar for every dollar I earn. Um, and you know I, I'm not too confident in that belief yet, but I know in my heart it's the right thing, and I'm just waiting for the rest of me to accept it. So, yeah, shit is absolutely insane. Um, government shut down. That is not surprising, obviously. It's kind of a... I don't mean to be too political here. Because uh, here's my Jake Paul... Here's my Jake Paul... No, Logan Paul impression. Uh, it's all about the respect. The respect. As I say in my pseudo-Asian accent. It's not offensive. It's respectful. Um... Yeah, dude, I fucking, I'm so excited for women to be able to, um, purchase tampons. I, I'm really excited. I've seen a lot of debate online on, like, Twitter about tampons. I'm assuming it's just that they're illegal for them, and I can't wait for it to get legalized. Um, yeah, so if there's any women, uh, you know, just any women in the area, uh, I'm single. Respect, dude. Number one prank show. Fucking insane, dude. I'm gonna ruin my friendship with all my friends. Anyways, so this is Jason's fucking. This is where Jason lives. He lives in that, in that garage area, and his girlfriend's over. Okay, so we're gonna walk in, totally prank them, hopefully catch them having sex. If so, thumbnail material is gonna be unbelievable, dude. Let's fucking get it. All right. I just feel like I've been betrayed right now. So I really wanted to like prank my friends. And we got all that good, but like they got back at me. They ate all my hostess little chocolate cupcakes, the ho-hos. Not like don't get confused with Pokemon. The ho-hos things, man. They fucking they ate them, dude. And it was just like I wanted those, man. I wanted to eat those. I only had one. I only had one. My mom never let me eat those as a child. Well, I don't know why. She was afraid I was going to get big. She was right. But I was going to get big no matter what. No matter what treats. I am accepting who I am. I am embracing it. I am... You dropped the... My key. Can I, can I borrow this real quick? Yeah. Calvin, you dropped a key. You dropped this key. I'm sorry. How are you ever going to recover from this? I think so. This is a this is Calvin's car. car. Let me know in the comments whose car you like more, my car or Calvin's car. Oh, shit. If you say Calvin's car, you're getting blocked from the channel. <laughs> the vlog. This is me. We're heading to the women's march. We're gonna go march for the women's. Hopefully, one of them is gonna want to date us after that. Mm -hmm. We're not doing it because we respect women. We're doing it. Cause we want to have kisses with women. But man, we got we got Calvin over here I'm trying to find my recorder. Yeah, you gotta you gotta play some sultry songs to seduce the feminists. Where Fuck turfs. <laughs> Look at 
this little man. Nacho. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi. Hey. Hi. How's my boy? <laughs> Ah, shit. Hi. I just, um, I think I've just accepted a weakness of mine. I think I've always known it, so I'm not going to say I discovered it. I think I've always known it, but I've just now accepted a weakness of mine. Um, I really, uh, like, nef like, like, uh, sp like, uh, specifically, um, online streaming service, um, romantic comedy originals. I, uh, yeah, no, thinking about it, because I also really liked, um, Hulu's one, fucking, what's it called, it's, it's the one with, like, the brother and the sister, and the sister has the daughter, and, uh, yeah, I really, I really like that one, does that have a new season, I should check up on that, but, you know, Netflix too, um, yeah, I always really like those, and, I mean, anyway, I just finished. I just finished Atypical. Um, yeah, I watched that in, in a day. Um, and I really, fuck, I loved that. I really, I, I, you know. It's like an. It's really is like a, I would say it's a flaw in me because they're they're cliche and they, you know, I think part of them romanticizes unhealthy behaviors, but I'm like aware of that and I just you know I accept it as a flaw of mine that I buy into it. I really like it, and I really like feeling sorry for myself, which is just one of the things I do a lot in life anyway, with all things. Um, yeah, I just, I finished Atypical, and I was like, I was moved throughout it, and I really fucking cared about everyone, and uh, didn't like the ending. Uh, I mean, like, it's a good cliffhanger, but I, I wish it would have just been one season. I don't like it that, there, like, there's this kind of emphasis on, you know, well, making money, because it's an industry, it's a business. But I really like it when, you know, you just tell a story. It starts and it ends. You know, you get ten episodes and you finish it and you feel... You feel like it ends. You don't have to feel good about it. It could end with everyone fucking dying. That's your choice. Uh, if you just do that to end it, that's just bad... That's just bad writing. But if it if it fits and, you, and it feels warranted, then fuck yeah. But anyways, I finished a typical season one and I... I had a great time. I really loved it. And also, um, Casey, Bridget Lundy Payne. Um, I don't know how to pronounce your name because I'm just a small little pleb boy. Uh, you know, I don't know you. You don't know me. We come from different walks of life. You know, you're, you're on some professional shit and I'm pantsless on a Saturday night and I just watched like seven hours of Netflix. Uh, so, you know, we, we do different things. We're different people, but, um, Fuck, dude, if you're ever in, in, in Oregon, you know, not even just Eugene, like, if you're ever just in Oregon, we can meet up, we can hang out, we can go to coffee. I don't, I don't like coffee, um, but you can get coffee, I'll get, like, tea, um, and I actually don't even like tea, but I'm, I'm, I mean, like, I, I, I like tea byproducts, tea, tea byproducts, but I don't, like, I don't just drink, like, straight up tea, because I like, I like, 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 boba tea, and I, I can drink the shit out of kombucha, and I can drink a lot of it, and I have drinking. I have had. I've had lots of it in the past, um, and I've you know I've been able to handle it. I'm a pretty I'm a pretty big boy, but yeah. If you want to meet up, I don't know. I just you know I actually legitimately don't know like a thing about you. So you can honestly be really lame, but I'd be I'd be willing to take the chance because I have a, I have a gut feeling, and I got a big gut, but I got a gut feeling that you're you're probably pretty cool, and uh, you know we could we could we we could probably be buds, you know, just some. Shoot the shit. Anyways, offer's totally on the table. Take it or leave it. Um, I'll be sad no matter what happens in my life. So, uh, yeah, there you go. But um, I'm about to... I just finished a Netflix romantic comedy uh, television series. And uh, it suggested another one. And I was like, oh, you shouldn't do this, Jaren. But then uh, my thumb was like, oh, we're, uh, we're, we're pressing A on the Xbox One controller. And we're going to watch it. So I'm going to get back to that. Um, I'm probably going to cry. Hey, YouTube. 
This is Cal Dub, Jerem's channel. Um, listen to my DJ show, KBVR 88.7 FM. Um, it's not actually happening yet, <clears throat> but it's getting there. I'm still in training. Um, word. Stand up, show them the shirt. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Dread Majesty. Dread Majesty, if you could get AHA on Hot Ones, um, that'd be huge. That'd be huge. We'd love that. It'd be a big help to all of us if that would work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'd all, we'd all really appreciate that. Um, all right, now to the main ingredient. Now to what you all actually want to see. Nacho, what is going on? <laughs> my dude, my little boy. Hold on. Black, can we get a tender moment? Can we get a tender moment shot right now? Stop. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so. There we go. I was making a pose. Calvin's over at the house. It was a surprise and he didn't tell me he was coming. I mean, we, we had planned on it. A while ago. Ha maybe happening. <clears throat> but then he just showed up and I, you know, I was surprised. I love this boy. I want to marry him someday. Um, yeah, so what up? I'm going to try to make myself a little din din at 10 o'clock at night because I'm depressed. Um, yeah, I got dishes to do, I gotta put my bed sheets back on my bed because I just, I can't function as a human being. So, gotta do all that, gotta make dinner, but no, pretty excited. I just wanna give Calvin a major shout out. Can we, can I see the tattoo real quick? Oh yeah, here. here, here, here no, I don't need consent. Um, no you don't, you can do whatever you want to me. Yeah, look at that, look at that, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? I need to get I need to get a different shot of this. This is a big moment. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, that's just kind of what happened. Oh, there is something I wanted to tell you guys. <laughs> I broke my TV playing Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's a big problem. And he, here, let me. Oh, sorry about that vlog. Yeah, let me. Uh, let me. Let me. Help there. No, I'm not. Okay. What do I look like? Are you plugging it in? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, vlog. This is terrible camera work on my part because I'm a terrible person. All right, so. Here's the TV. You know, it, it looks clean. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. But, um, ooh. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> it is. It got worse. It got worse overnight. Oh, it is significantly worse. This wasn't this wasn't a problem last night. We need to shoot this TV. Yeah. <laughs> it's making it worse. Dude, no, this dude, no, we gotta keep it. This is gonna be in the background of one of your goth projects. Actually, videos. that's a very good idea. I'm smart. Okay, so we need to just kind of fuck it up more. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> your mom is home. <laughs> Signal. Yeah, signal. Signal. That's the title of the first track. Signal. Signal. Yeah. So All the right. TV's very broken. And uh, I didn't like. Here's the thing that's so dumb about it is because I didn't even throw anything at it on purpose. Like I didn't like chuck my controller or anything. I was playing with my friend Josh. You know Josh. And I was gonna. I was gonna say a, a profane word. I was gonna say something very naughty. So I had my headset and I'm holding my controller. Headset's plugged into the controller. So I threw my headset off backwards to shout and yell, but then it swung back around because it was anchored to the controller, and uh, that's our point of impact. My headset did that. And here's the thing. I have played video games and gotten mad, and I have thrown controllers, and I have thrown stuff. Uh, I've, certain Halo campaigns on Legendary have broken me. They have, they have done some things to me. And so I can admit it. I know when I get mad and I throw stuff at video games. That's not what happened here. And if I was lying, I would make up such a better lie than my headset <laughs> spinning around and hitting it. Because my headset broke too. Let's, let's, uh, here vlog, let me get you some extra footage here. Um, my headset snapped apart and I just have to glue it back together. So, a little insight into my life. Um, don't, don't. don't. <laughs> You're just going to town on it, aren't you? Look at all these signals. Dude, this is cool. This could be in a goth project video. Yeah, this really could be. I like it. Yep, but that's what happened. Anyways. 
Anyways, um, family's coming over tomorrow. They're gonna have a birthday dinner with me because I'm turning 21 this week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's what's happening. Love you, vlog. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the stop? Yeah, I'm still, still filming. Okay. I'm still filming. It's a different pattern now. This is actually really cool. I'm glad you still have this TV. TV. <laughs> Leave it alone. Okay, hold on. Hey gang, what it is, what to do? I, I'm um. Ah. Hi. Um, I'm here. In the morning, it's uh, it's like it's almost 7:30. Got up early so I could go uh, study for a French test with some of my classmates. But I'm over here eating. Here, let me get a good shot of this. I'm over here eating some donuts because uh, because you may ask, I don't eat donuts that often. But today is a special occasion because it's my birthday. <laughs> Yeah, so it's my birthday, I'm gonna have donuts, and I'm gonna go school early, take a French test. <sighs> Shit's gonna be fucking whack! Boo! Birthday update. That's a vehicle behind me. Um, I just got back from school, I decided to skip psychology because I fucking do not like that class. Um, decided to skip it, just come home, fucking chill. Do some some big boy badass shit, obviously. Um, yeah, took my French exam today. Not good. Not good. Uh, my excuse. I'm bad at, at French and studying, so all likelihood of this test being favorable for me, having a favorable outcome. Nah, wasn't there, wasn't there. That was a me problem. That was all me. So, yeah, it's been the day. It's my birthday, though. Woo -woo! Um, yeah, just uh, just gonna chill. Probably just, I'm just gonna play just a ton of Dark Souls. I'm really tempted to just right now buy the DLC for for Breath of the Wild and get Fury, but I feel like I should finish Dark Souls since I'm pretty far into that game. I should just, you know, keep going, but what are you going to do? Have you have you guys thought about what you're going to do? I haven't thought about what I'm going to do. So what what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to plug this shit further in. Um yeah, I'm going to go inside and there's no food in my house, so I cry. Hey guys, so you know, this was my birthday. It was pretty uneventful, but it was good. It was good. It's um it's not like I needed it to be action-packed, so... Yeah, I had a good birthday, and, you know, thank you to everyone who, you know, wished me happy birthday. Um, but, you know, now... This is probably just gonna be the end of the vlog. I don't think anything else is gonna happen today, anything really important, so... Uh, yeah, um... Thanks for watching, and, um... Have a good day. Go vegan.